would you describe New York to me in color? A really shocking blue. I see a lot of browns and bright yellows just because it's just so bright all the time. When I see New York, I think of energy. Oranges and yellows and the color of the sky at sunset. The city is so vibrant and there's so many different cultures, different foods, different smells, so I see them in all the colors. For me, it's like a shade of greens and reds at the same time. I feel like the traffic lights, that's New York, like you're always stopping and going at the same time. Janovic goes back to 1888. It was developed up after generations and generations of the family. And over the last 130 years, we were part of painting New York and bringing color to New York. And we're really proud of that. Whether it was the ceiling in the Plaza Hotel or at MoMA, all the buildings that we've been a part of. And there's more of a story that's there. Janovic is New York's color authority. You know, if you were to take a survey of all the buildings in New York City, which is something you could never possibly do, I think that there's a pretty good chance that some Janovic paint has gone up in the walls of most of those buildings. And it's funny, uh, Benjamin Moore paint is only slightly older than Janovic itself. Benjamin Moore has been around since 1882, I believe, and it's something that we're very, very proud of. We sort of joke that they're both New York institutions. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. I'm a second year fine arts major at SBA. My name is Eric, I'm a senior graphic designer from Pratt. I'm a senior illustration major at Pratt. Michael Parsons. We've got a handful of the best art schools in the world right here in New York. Um, and so the idea was to take art students from several different disciplines, from several different schools, and have them come together and create these classic New York City landmarks um, using Benjamin Moore paint chips as their medium. I'm not sure how often in the history of New York that this has ever happened, where we have Pratt, SBA, and Parsons all in the same room, smiling. What we never wanted to have happen is it be school versus school. That was never in the, in the cards for this project. Each team is intentionally made up of a Pratt student, an SVA student and a Parsons student. And then even within that team, you've got graphic designers, you've got illustrators, you've got 3D artists. And so you've got students that really know how to make things beautiful. And then you've got other students on the same team that really know how to make things. Tonight, you're gonna meet with your team. You're gonna brainstorm creative and a unique point of view about color and New York City for your team. But I want that conversation to continue past tonight. All right, here are the canvases. Empire State Building, Flatiron Building, Chrysler Building, Freedom Tower, and the Citigroup Center. Yeah, so we're trying to uh, tell a personal story through color of New York. So my team, we have uh, the Empire State Building. Okay, so we got the Chrysler, and me and Kenny, we got this idea of parallel kind of universe. And he gave this idea of like crystals and entering, and then for me it was instantly like William Turner paintings, that was like crazy color palette for like a sublime kind of entry. And we we're gonna get like a marine, a coral, an aqua, like a darker gray. So I think it's gonna be like very like interesting. <laughs> color is very important to us. We've had an opportunity to um, help people paint all of these inspiring buildings all over the city. And so we hope now um, we're giving you the opportunity to engage in a creative process that lets you in your way leave a mark on New York City. We're doing the Flatiron building uh, and we're just playing with uh, bringing like earthly and roots to the to our concept of the building because since this is like the oldest building of them all, it's the root of New York. We just saw we want to keep it very natural looking. So we picked kind of greens, tans, and uh, grays. Like partner, she said that she thinks of being on top of the Empire State Building and seeing like the calmness of the blue sky and like the sunset. And then when I think New York, I think of like the busyness of like being down at the ground level and like the bright lights and like the city nightlife. So it's like, the rush of being in New York, 
the heat of the streets. So we're gonna work on this gradient that goes from bright red to the like really blue of the skies and the lightness. Our stories immediately there brought this like nice contrast between like light blues and reds. So Have you ever been in Empire State Building? No, actually she inspired me. Yeah, she inspired me. Check it out. I wanna go to the roof. We just met at a coffee shop around here. We had pretty much already figured out our concept, so we really just talked about the execution of all of our ideas. I feel like we have so many different ways of thinking. Some of us have more uh, technical experience than others in like crafting. Still, it's not something that, it's not a stress that drives me crazy. It's a nice stress, it's like, a, it's a push, so it's cool. We're going a little more brighter than we thought we would go because I thought we, like our initial was a little more grayish. But then since we are using color chips and we have that amount available, why not go brighter? Like New York City, it's already so gray. Why not go a little like whew, with the colors, you know? Welcome, everybody. I'm excited you guys are here. It's a restrictive medium. I mean, a paint chip is a, is a very restrictive medium. So there's any color in the world that you want that's, that's imaginable is available to you. But they're all little strips of paper and, and they're little rectangles of color. And so how can you take that and turn it into something that's beautiful? We have the Freedom Tower. So our first thought was like a sense of coming together after 9-11. Going to the Freedom Tower is to remember. We're kind of using it as a reflection of the city. So we chose the blues for the clouds, and then going down the yellows and skin colors. I think yellow is such an energy color, so that's why we picked it. We have the City Group building. It's basically known for its weird shark tooth um, shape at the top. And um, we're thinking about, since it has like little rectangles going up, making it kind of pixelated. Bright colors, a bit more like more reds, and just kind of like, you know, shake it up a bit, make it a bit more exciting. She brought me in on the idea to like incorporate pixel art and depth and feel. First, we're gonna have it all clustered, but then we decided to give it like equal spacing so that we can put more like stripes in between. Man, what does it look like? The shark tooth. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I think we have to try a little bit. We're trying to figure out how to like make the layering reveal the background. How do we make these stand up? I'm seeing kids from Pratt, from SVA, from Parsons, come together, collaborate, work together, spark ideas off of each other, have brainstorms. We are just kind of making things up as we go. <laughs> We're gonna curl all of the um, pieces to create like a feather effect. Uh, which I think the best ideas and things come out by doing it that way. I think it will be more interesting if we have something like spreading like this. And now we're adding illustration elements because Sunny and Kenny, they're illustration majors. So Davina was like, let's mix your illustration skills and cutting skills with my graphic design skills. Taxi cab and like hot dogs. So it has like a fun touch to it that's not gonna be too abstract. It was a bunch of people who worked together on this one thing. That's the, the most important thing in our group that really helped was teamwork. I think it's a lot harder than I expected. I think it's a lot about like respecting um, one another's decisions and kind of thought processes and um, approaches to this project. The project started being more about paint. It started being about color and chips and New York and design. And as I've watched you and as I've spoken to everyone, I've come to learn it's so much more about people. Anybody can have a paint store, a retail store. But the reality is the brick and mortar world and the retail experience has changed. And you'll probably buy a lot of stuff online and there's not the human interaction. But if you go somewhere and somebody cares and it's a, an experience you remember, then that becomes more special than ever. So that's what I want our stores to be. When I think of design, I think of no element being there without a purpose and nothing being arbitrary, and I think we've really accomplished that. There's a composition to this building. There's multiple layers. There's a lot of planning that has to go into it. I think someone said, oh, it makes me want to visit this building. And that's like fun to hear. When you heard about this project, why did you want to do it? I thought it sounded so awesome. I had no idea what it was about, but when you hear names like 
Janovic and Benjamin Moore and creating sculptures out of paint chips it sounded really cool and I wanted to be a part of it. It's a project that I've, I've never seen the likes of before and I think that their experience in New York is sort of a very uniquely New York experience. They come here for a reason. There's sort of a, a flame or a light that draws them here. And so they have an opportunity to be part of this great city and to leave their mark on the city as the city will leave its mark on them. Someone looks at it and sees, sees something or feels something, like that's, that's a goal within itself.